Hey everybody and welcome into this North Node series of readings. I wanted to do these this week. I've been asked to do them for quite some time and I think if you like these I might make these a regular thing. Um, your North Node, if you don't know, it looks like a little set of headphones and your North Node is the energy, the karmic energy you're here to embrace in this life. It's brand new. And conversely, your south node is what you bring to this life. This is the very familiar. So you might find that going toward your north node does feel unfamiliar. That's kind of the point. The south node is your comfort zone. It's what you already know. So going toward your north node can be a challenge sometimes. So this might be something that you might be like, Oh, that feels really foreign to me, or that feels a little scary to me, or that feels like, wow, where have you been all my life? That's what North Node is here to bring you. So take a look at your chart, figure out what sign your North Node is in, and then take a look at your reading. It might be something brand new. It might be just a new way of looking at things that you hadn't considered. So without further ado, welcome to the series. All right, North Node and Sagittarius, how are you guys? Welcome in, welcome in. So we're looking at November to see what's gonna be happening for you. Um, if you know about your North Node, hopefully that's why you're here. You wanna be uh, seeing what's going on for this North Node placement. You're really, um, North. No it's about the energy you're here to embrace, okay? and the path you're here to walk on this planet, the new things you're here to learn. North Node is a brand new experience uh, for your life. Um, and it is about embracing optimism. It is about be maybe becoming a, a teacher or a guru or a scholar or a guide, uh, very much a philosopher, very inspirational. So this is the energy of your North Node and whatever house it's in, whatever house it's in, your, the house will tell you quite a bit too, okay? So it's about combining those two energies. North Node and Scorpio is definitely, or sorry, Sagittarius. North Node and Sagittarius is definitely um, about, you know, blue sky, kind of big picture thinking in a different way than Aquarius is. Uh, uh, Sagittarius is much more optimistic and sort of euphoric even. And you can kind of get into a little bit of trouble with that. So just so you know. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys in November. Rainbow blessings. Wandering path. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. So I'm going to do a little reading here for you um, about embracing your North Node energy. And whatever zodiac signs come up in here, I'll look at those in the extended. And those could be just regular sun sign people or whatever. It's not another north node. You don't have to know someone's north node. Okay, so let's see where we go. What is up for you in November? North node in Sagittarius. Shadow side of Sagittarius can be a little bit blunt, a little bit judgmental. So you really want to balance these energies. I do feel like wandering path is totally cool and totally normal for a Sagittarius North Node. Very meandering kind of experience. Page of Pentacles. Showing up as the devil energy. So what's holding you back? What's holding you back? Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Five of Cups, and Empress. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different in this reading before I get to this layout. Um, show me the situation with a Sagittarius North Node right now for November. Oh my goodness. You're stuck. There's something stuck here for Sag. To, uh, Devil has shown up twice. Okay, let me get the advice. You do do this. Page of Swords, and don't do this. <laughs> All right, I, I feel like you don't want to, this is Maisie, hi. I feel like you don't want to um, end relationships, although I am feeling a little bit like that's a possibility, okay? With the Sagittarius North Node energy right now, uh, 
you know, being sitting in that devil energy, that's the optimist. That's the opposite of optimistic. Okay. I feel like that might be the thing you need to embrace, especially if you're in a situation that you're not really sure how to get out of. <laughs> you're not really sure how to get out of it, right, Maze? Oh my God, so cute. So you, you don't want to hack a person off entirely, but what you do want to do is communicate better. This showed up in the Scorpio North Node one too. Okay, um, here, get down. So what's showing up for me here is some of you are feeling a bit overwhelmed. Some of you are feeling a bit overwhelmed. You've got too many plates spinning in the air. And on top of it, the universe is asking you to start learning some new things. Okay, so that feels a little bit like, oh my God, I got tons on my plate right now. I almost feel like there might be people in your life you might, you might be one of the, the uh, North Node signs that is about shedding people right now. Okay, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the five, oh, sorry, three of cups, nine of cups, and the five of cups. So you could find yourself just like not being very um, delicate about this, right? Too bl being too blunt about like, okay, enough. Everybody just get off. Just get out of my car. I'm going to do my own thing, right? You might find yourself wanting to do that to just like, everybody's on me. I just need all y'all to get off so I can understand my own life right now. I do feel like you have this very nurturing side, this beautiful energy of the Empress. And it's, it, it's like, you know, you feel taken advantage of right now. Okay, Sagittarius North Node, feeling very taken advantage of right now. I'm going to clarify this devil energy because that's crazy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see. Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, Hierophant, Ace of Swords. So I almost feel like you're dealing with the energy of Capricorn right now, which is about putting in the time and effort on something. And I feel like that might make you feel a little overwhelmed right now. All right. Um, some of you are stepping into your gifts. Sagittarius North Node is becoming a guru, teacher, guide, um, philosopher, okay? And it's about what is what are people really needing from you? This nine of wands. People have a lot of patterns in their life, right? You're here to bring them some optimism. You're here to bring them some new ideas, infusing people with uh, new energy. And that's what I feel like you're here to do. Uh, with this Ace of Swords. So there's something here about this devil energy that is too grounded, okay? There's too much focus on your 3D life. There's too much focus on money. There's too much focus on um, business or uh, uh, experiences. Not enough focused on love and joy, okay? So you might have a situation, some of you may have a situation where uh, it's a third party. Okay, you see how this is like kind of a third party, right? The devil is the third party. And that energy of being in an untenable situation, there's no resolution to it. I do feel like some of you have been dealing with that for a while. And it's about to come to some kind of conclusion in November, okay? Because we've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. I don't think you're the one that's going to be doing the ending. I think the uh, another person in that triangle is going to be doing the ending. You don't want to burn this bridge, okay? I feel like you don't. I feel like don't let yourself get triggered by this. I'm really getting that, okay? Don't let yourself be triggered by the situation. I see Taurus, I see Capricorn, I see Taurus again and Libra. Two of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Strength, Leo. Okay, so I was asking about what is it that you want? The Nine of Cups here. And I feel like you almost want this to end. You want this connection to end because I feel like you might be the one giving too much to this connection, all right? North Node and Sagittarius can be very open and giving, overgiving, in fact. 
your job here is to learn to communicate in a straightforward way because the uh, the negative side of Sagittarius the shadow side is super blunt so I think if you're super blunt about this with someone I think you're gonna really burn a bridge that I don't think you want to or should um, I almost feel like there's some kind of information that you don't share you hold back and don't tell anybody about it. you don't tell anybody about it you keep it to yourself or it's something that um, if you said out loud would definitely burn the bridge so you're not doing that I think you're a very gracious winner here I think you are gonna be a winner Empress I think you are gonna get away from this situation whatever this is about feeling overwhelmed um, I feel like November th things clear out a little bit here okay so I'm gonna if you're dealing with a Taurus a Capricorn a Libra or a Leo I will Sun signs I will look at those in the extended I will keep going here but to me this feels like how do I communicate better in this relationship or in this connection without completely torching it that's what you're gonna need to know for November okay so it could be a work situation or um, a love situation I do feel like the path is going in a good direction for you though miracles all right so let's see where we go like I said Taurus Capricorn Libra and Leo if you're dealing with any of those I'll take a look all right so if you want to continue on with this if this resonated for you there's a link below and you can follow me over there